get up. What's up, guys? Quarter order here. Paul's in the back. Shortest guy in the back. No, get to the front. Look at that. We got a gaggle of us today. We got an gaggle. old pal. This is Kyle's permission. Everyone clap for Kyle. Yeah, House Kyle. goes back to 1800. It's in front of me. We're going to do the side yard, the backyard that the owner lost the ring we're going to look for. Of course, I got me. I got the Hazmatador. I got the PA Pyre Paul. I got the Nickel Nibbler. And I got the Heritage Relic Recovery yeah. Rescuer. Yes, yes. Charlie. Something like go. that. It's going to be a great day. We got a big fields here. So back in the first dig. See you guys soon. Later. See ya. Yeah, it's called worm. A worm, yeah. Yeah. Kyle and I are starting down here by this really old rock wall I'll show you. And Kyle had a heck of a good find. Can I see that, Kyle? Sure. Kyle's got a massive, we think three it's a ring. three ringer. Yep. And this is like a 50 caliber, Doug, if that's uh, what it is. I think it's bigger than that. I, it's huge. It's a big size. And we very rarely, if ever. Now, I'm not positive. It sure looks like it. And it feels dense like yeah. lead. Yep. Uh, and when he cleans it out, you know, we'll, we'll find out for sure. I mean, it's definitely and smushed a little bit. you can see where bit. it was wormed. Yeah, Doug said he thinks it was wormed, where it gets stuck in the barrel and you stick in a corkscrew and kind of yank it out. Yeah, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's my, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Well, you guys can check out the Nickel Nibblers video for more detail. <laughs> Excellent find. Yeah. Hey. Kyle, just over here, I was digging. I pulled Ooh. it out. I thought it was slag. It's like, it looks like it's an angel's wings. I got one hand. I don't want to ruin it. I thought it was just bent up slag, but I swear it looks like an angel's wings or bird's wings. Cool. Let me clean. I'm going to spray it and clean this up. Hang on. I'll be back in a second. There's my angel's wings. Kyle's still over here. It's wow. only me and Kyle. I don't know where the other guys are. I cleaned over the front. Look at that. That's beautiful. She's playing a banjo. I thought it was can That's slag. Most angels. It's so cool. It looks like above her head, Kyle, it looks like there may have been an attachment. An attachment like maybe it was a necklace. bracelet or something. Not a bracelet. Yeah, thank you. A necklace. Like a charm. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to have to clean it really well. I'll look for a marker. This is cleaned up just with a toothbrush, so it's got to be sterling. Yeah, I mean, nothing else would clean up that well with just a toothbrush. Beautiful. And Kyle's got two Civil War bullets, big ones. So I'm going to take a picture and email them to someone who knows more about them than we do. We very rarely find Civil War bullets, so this is a pretty good day. There's my angel right off the bat. And uh, and in return for the ground giving me this angel, I'm going to put the banana in the hole because uh, you got to give something back. It's give and take. That's how it works. But look at that. Wait till the guys see that. That's got to be sterling. I'll look for a marking later and show at the end. Whew, good start. All right, I'm guessing behind this little wood retaining wall maybe used to be the old dump uh, because I just found a piece of a clock and I found a lot of clock parts, but look at the size of this one in my hand. It's like an old mantle clock with gears and look, it's huge. They must have just buried the whole clock. Uh, I mean, it's big as my hand. It's hard to see, but it's a big sucker. I might have to just go put it in the car. I don't feel like carrying it around my bag. But a cool piece. I will take it. Let's try to get some coins. So far in the day, I have zero. Let's keep going. Right, I got another hole here. I'm right near the spring house. It's right here. It was redone. This isn't the original one. It's all black. The house is up there. I don't want to show too much of it. There's some of the old retaining wall. And right here, I had a good high tone, and it looks like it's going to be a toy car. And I don't know if it's going to be a newer Hot Wheel or a Lesney or it's not quite a Tootsie. It's going to be a Hot Wheel. It could have red lines. The red line Hot Wheels are good ones. I can't tell. I'll clean it up. What the heck? I like those old kids' toys. Let's take a look at it. Well, there it is. Cleaned up with a toothbrush. It's a 57 T-Bird. Right there. 57 T-Bird. And uh, I don't know how old it is. Hot Wheels are really hard to date unless you're a collector. I know the red wheel ones are good. It had like a red line around the wheels. I don't see it. So this might only be like from the 70s or so. But it's got a lot of original paint. It looks really cool. And uh, in the collection she goes. All right, I walked over to see how the boys are doing. My me and Kyle are behind the, the standard, house. They're in the field. The standard Liberty Quarter. Watch his reaction on video. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for him. <laughs> Let me see. Paul's got, uh, oh yeah, Paul's got two matching buckles. Those are nice ones too, Paul. They're looking in good shape too. Look, the tines still rotating. 
Paul said he's got four or five Wheaties so far. No silver coins yet. But, you know, we just got here. We haven't been here that long. Doug's got... A big harmonica reed. Oh, well, it's a little piece of a harmonica reed. Yeah. You can only play like two notes. <laughs> twinkle. I'm not going to try and play any of them. <laughs> oh, no. oh, not bad. I mean, it, it, hey, it shows age at least. Age. Yep. You guys sell me broke because you were sick of hearing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, all right. We got to find something that, uh, something else. But, hey, it's a good start so far. We're only here 20 minutes. I almost predicted this for Paul. I said, I, I had a deep 86, 87. I said, Paul, it's going to be a silver quarter. There's my plug. It's probably Paul's shadows in the way. Seven inches deep, it. and it's right there in the side. I haven't even touched it yet. I'm going to pull it out in a second. But it sounded great, deep enough, squeaky enough. It's a Washington. Washington. It's just a Washington. You call me over for that? I didn't know. I just saw silver in the hole. I'm just messing with you. That's silver. Oh, no doubt about it. Doug, can you uh, hold my camera? I'm going to spray it because... Sure. Just in case. What are the good date Washingtons? 32D? It's one of them low years. I think it's the second year or something. First year. Paul said, I was just over there. And I said, well, that Equinox yeah. only finds pennies, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Wheat pennies, at least. Nope, 50 something. 57. Well, same year as the uh, other thing I dug, Doug. Doug, Doug? Doug, Doug. 57 Silver Washington and a 57 T-Bird I got All earlier. All right. Hot wheel. All and right. it was deep. It was 86, 87, about 6, 7 inches down. One way it didn't sound too good. The other way it did. Wow. And uh, I was rewarded. All right. Yeah, See great. that? Did hey, you, did our you first put it, silver for today. Did you put it back? No, it's the second one for me. Charlie. Yeah, we should. Second one. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm curious, uh, for silver coin though. Look at that. Oh yeah, wow, that is uh, wow, that's awesome. That's heavy too. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't that's know if this is silver. Yeah. This could yeah, be pewter, but yeah, it could right. be pewter. It's Oop. heavy. I want you to take a look at this here. This has a star on it on the side here with like sergeant marks or I don't know. Sergeant marks? Yeah, like sergeant like a chevron. See, see oh, the, I do see it, Charlie. And there's a it star on each side. Yeah, it looks like, like a ring. But I don't want to bend it back into shape. I think it was some sort of a. Is see, the camera has, picking it up, Doug? Is it on the has a star on? on it? Here, give me the camera because I've mastered. It has it a might star be on it. A ring. If it is a ring, I think it might be like a kid's ring, maybe. It has a star and like stripes, like military stripes yeah, right beneath, there. beneath the stars. It's kind, of, it's kind of an odd, odd thing, but I thought it was a ring at first, too, but... It does look like a ring, but maybe... It rang up 78. I hate to say toy ring, like... Yeah, right. You know, because most rings are a circle yeah, in this one. Right. Isn't, if, that's, if that's even it, but I, I, I'm going with you. It's hard for me to hold it. Yeah, it's like, right. I'll have to clean it up, but maybe there's something underneath the inside to read. Yeah, maybe, but I definitely see the it's, star and the, yeah, and the I, bars there, three bars. Yeah. You think it's a sergeant? Not, three, a, not three, a major? Three stripes. I think I saw three stripes on there. Well, that's a good find, Charlie. It's yeah. copper. Very nice, well, it's, sir. It's my first find so far. Well, yeah. no, I actually had uh, some clad qu quarters and we stuff. We won't count them. No, we won't count them. <laughs> <laughs> well, this might not be that old. It's only 1993. But it's a dog tag. Dog tag Doug. Where is dog tag Doug? Oh, he's over there with Charlie. Kyle and Paul are still near the house. We're off on the side. But uh, New Jersey, Township of Delanco. Didn't even know that was the name of the town. In fact, I think it's a different town. Maybe the dog ran over here. Ah, right, whatever. Cool piece. Keep on digging. All right, Paul's got this. Let me mount my shovel, Paul. Paul's got the second car of the day. He swung over it. I swung over it. It came up almost a 90. I thought it was going to be aluminum slag. So that's oh, it's actually a dragster. A good, it's yeah. a dragster. Mine was a Hot Wheel. Is it, is it marked on the bottom? It's it's going to be a Hot Wheel, but I'm saying it's a... Um, Let me see. A drag Oh, I see the grill on it. Because I think it says Army. You know, like the funny car that the thing... Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow, well, look at that. Like a funny car. That's pretty cool, Paul. <laughs> That's better than the aluminum piece of house siding I thought you were going to be digging. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, I thought, you think that'd be a Hot Wheel? Hot Wheels don't usually yeah, do that. Yeah, it's a Hot Wheel. It's a Hot Wheel. We're going to check it and see. I think it feels too heavy to be a Hot Wheel. I think it's going to be something a little more... Well, it's because it's a, a lift up. That's why it's heavy. Well, it's super cool, whatever the heck it is. It's a funny car. It is a funny car for a funny looking guy. Good job, Paul. Thanks. All right, we've already plucked three toy cars out of this yard, and now Doug's got one. 
Okay. And oh, it's, it's making a, me hungry. Oh, look at that, Doug. Oh, I it's got a pizza and a pizza maker on the hood. Uh, well, that's not good, Doug. I know. <laughs> I was going to be a Tootsie, but I have a feeling it might be... Uh, I don't think it's that old. No, nah, not with a pizza thing on it. No. Nah. There's a marking right there. I can't quite it's see. It's got a couple twos on there, but... Uh, oh, it's the second one then, at least. You think? Or the 22nd? <laughs> I don't think this is even from the 20s. I think this is no, like, that, that's this pickup looks like it's from like the 80s, 70s, 90s. maybe 80s. And then what's the pizza place? Pizza Planet, like Buzz Lightyear? I have no idea. All right, well, hey, it's something. It's but I'd like to so order far. pizza now. I'm a little hungry, but Doug has donuts in his car. I might go get one of them. Because your car's unlocked, right, Doug? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, I got to go check something Don't out. Ah, uh, man, this sounded good. And in the hole with a little dirt on it, I thought it was going to be a silver dime. It's a lid to something. I can't make out what the heck it says. At the bottom, it looks like it says Remedy. And then in the middle, geez, I can't read that at all. I can't even tell which way to hold it. Something. Homo. Homo crane. Homo. Homopath. I can't, I can't say homopath. I don't know what the heck it says. Hamajo? I don't know. It's a lid. But I'm just trying to figure out what the heck it said. I'll have to figure it out later. I got another piece of a car. This one's much older. It's just this whole side panel. That's all I got. But uh, just the body style on it to me it looks like this is probably from the 50s. Older than the Hot Wheels we've gotten, but there's not enough of it to really love it. But hey, it's got some age to it. It's kind of cool. I'm going to keep on going. Maybe I'll find the rest of it, but that's all I heard in the hole. There's Doug over there. Paul's creeping up. Kyle, of course, is in the woods. I'll never see him again. There's Charlie. So, keep on digging. Super fine. Right, we're going to do a semi-live one. Paul had a good signal. He called me over. I concur. So we're going to try the live dig. He already kind of did the perimeter. We didn't flip the plug over yet. So uh, let's see what it is. I'm thinking it might be a silver dime. Or maybe a quarter or six inches deep. I found a silver quarter not far from here. Only about probably within 10 feet or so. Up, oh, it's up in the hole. Let's see if I can come around and get out of the. Not they knock it in there. That's the nail. No, that's not the signal. Up oh, there it is. Ma, it's a modern flag <laughs> quarter. Yeah, my silver. I bet it's an old one though, because my silver was only 57. I'm going to bet this is 60s, Paul. It looks like it's 1966. Oh, really? I think. I think it's 66, but we're like right on that silvery cusp. It sounded good though, man. Well, you want me to show it? It's so noisy. Your pinpoint is going off, mine's going off. Oh no, it's 81. Piece of junk. Just put it back in the hole. <laughs> well, I met up with Kyle. He came out of the woods. And he's got more of those bullets. This is his nicest one, and I agree. Yeah, I mean, I, I never dig Civil, Civil War era three ringer bullets, Kyle, but this, it's got to be what it is. I mean, it's really heavy. It's really large. Just odd that we never find them this far north, and he found like six of them. Theoretically, you could make that bullet today if you had the mold and stuff. Well, so you I could. I suppose the farmer could have made those bullets himself. Well, in it a does later have. No, but it does have like that patina to well, it when yeah, lead's no, in the ground for a long time. It just. I wish I had more knowledge of Civil War bullets, but I just don't because we don't find them up this far north. But that's in great shape, man. I'm I'm really jealous because I've never dug one, and that's really cool. And that that's clearly a real. That's one that might almost be. I might need to hit something, but. That's awesome. Congratulations. That is six. a musket. That's all. This is the homeowner, and look at that thing. Charlie, let me see that I thing. I thought she was coming out chasing Stand us that away. up next to you, Charlie, so I have some scale. This is hanging up inside her house, this musket. It's probably Join taller or than die. Charlie. Join or die. <laughs> it's probably well. taller than Charlie. Now, child, Charlie's only four foot eight, but still. No, it's not, but it's a big sucker. That's I'm incredible. I'm five foot two. And you have that on the wall inside? Yes. And the power horn. Wow. And, and the, the power, power horn? horn? No kidding. Ignore the Lord of the Rings thing. <laughs> wow. It was well, a chain that was available. That really? is amazing. I should see if the, uh, the basketball fits in here. 
It, it's about, it looks like it's the same size. You think they shot it here at all? They might have. I don't want to drop that. Be careful. I got it. I thought you'd be careful. You own it. Yeah, don't hit me in the head. Let me see it's, that. Uh, <laughs> it's percussion. Yeah, let me see the size. Is there any markings on see it? See a nipple yeah. there and stuff? I was looking for, for markings. Right here, it says London Warranted. It probably came from uh, overseas, huh? It's on the powder right. Evans, that's, that is breach, isn't it, Evans? That's amazing. Wow. Is there a ramrod on there, too? Yeah, right here. Yeah, one, I see it. I see it. ramrod. I don't know. And that's been in your family for 200 years or so? Yeah, it was hanging in my grandmother's yeah. house. And it was hanging in that's amazing. my dad's house. Yeah, so. yeah, sometimes, it, yeah. All right, Charlie said he's got maybe a musket ball. He's got a nice Amish uh, hat there. The nibbler's got a hole. I don't know where Doug's on the other side. But let me see. Charlie said he thinks he's got a musket ball. Oh, I'm setting the machine off. Oops, sorry about that. Here. Oh, I see it. I see it. I don't know if that's a musket ball or not. I just saw it was round there. I'm assuming it's it is. It's lead. It's definitely a musket ball. Yeah, it's lead. The, uh, do I or can I? Yes, definitely. The homeowner came outside. She showed us she's got a flintlock rifle, probably 200-year-old rifle. And we're curious if this, you know, if this musket ball would be the same diameter. It looks like it caliber. is. It, it looked like it would be. It looks like about 69. Yeah, every time, we, every time we go out, you always find a musket I ball. I, that, that, I, I got we, piles of them. Uh, yeah. All different sizes. That's incredible. Hey, nice find. That's uh, a yeah, nice you. heavy musket ball. Thank you so much. Very nice. Yep, thank you. Appreciate that. All right, the nibbler said he's got something. He's still doing the front. And uh, this little French buckle. Oh, look at that. He's got the teeth. Now this, is this a knee buckle? I, that might be a knee buckle. Look, he's got the teeth on there too. And I see, I see a, a, a manufacturer on there. It says France. Is that what it said, Kyle? It's a country. No, it's not, is it? Yes. Ah, oh, I thought, I thought they used this to make, to, to dig into the fries. Like yeah, French I thought fries. they had French fries. They that's French fries. Now you think that's a shoe buckle or a knee buckle? I do that's not. small. A kid's buckle. You no, know, it could be well, their underwear, or whatever they call them, too, garment. No, garment not with thing. those teeth on there like that. Oh, man, I've never found one with the teeth. Oh, it's like a vampire's buckle. You know the joke I play my kids. What's the, what's the joke? What are you eating under there? Oh, underwear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kyle, d d just give me a regular face for a second. Hold on. Yeah, see the vampire teeth? <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Very nice, fine. Where are you? Oh, I see you up there by the tree. Yeah. And there's Charlie. Wow, that's incredible. I would love to find that. He's got some good bugs. He's got buttons and bullets and he's got some good stuff. All right, All right the PA pirate said he's found something. He walked over pretty far. Well, you so. said you were looking for age because we haven't found age yet. Okay, I'm ready. My eyes are closed. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a piece of crotal bell. Nice design. It's a pretty good size one, too. It would have been like a number four, maybe. It looks three. like a spun back type. Yeah, type. and where were you? Right in the center of the yard out there? Yeah. Yeah, that is definitely, that's probably the first thing that I'm sure is probably at least 1800s. Yeah, that's nice, man. It's shame I mean, it's all it's you got, piece, but, but well, it's, it's age, something. You know, it's what we're looking for to Yeah, age. I mean, there's Charlie and Doug way out there. Kyle's over here, and me and Kyle are going to walk out this way, and you can see all this open pasture, and we're just going to kind of march. Because we didn't have too much luck near the house. I mean, we found a lot of mid 1900s stuff, but age. For a well, house that goes back to yeah, the early 1800s, yeah. we just haven't gotten anything close to that. Where so. you're at, where your stuff is at? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, nice. no, see where his stuff is, Kyle? A hundred yards over. Oh, that's where he got it. Yeah. Use of his he stuff. just put his stuff there to fool you so you didn't go over and try to find the rest of the crotal bell. That sounds like what He's you He's a would genius. Do. He's an evil, mad scientist. All right, see you on the next home. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I came over here hoping that you missed one of those bullets because I would have loved to found one, and I did. I did find one. Yeah. yeah. Mine hit something hard and really mushroomed out. Yeah. You know, yours were in much better shape. No, well, some of mine are like that. But there, well, the one or two you had were looked great. But, um, yeah, I'm really curious if they're old or not so old. But they're really intriguing, whatever they are. Oh, well, mine's not, but Kyle's as well. <laughs> I Paul got the sixth car, seventh car, Kyle, of the day. And uh, this one... Oh, look, uh, you can see now Paul's got flames on it there, too. See the flames? Well, you got Price's Hot Wheels there. Yeah, and, and it's you know, red. like the thing with the flames. On this side? It says red something. Yeah, red something, and it's got flames there. That's pretty cool. 
Get your motor running. Come on, Paul. Head out on the highway. It's a lame man. And if I was Simon hey, Cowell. That wouldn't have, that would have been just as much as come you. Come on. Right? That was okay, lame. Go, go to Kyle and have Kyle would have did it. All right, ready, Kyle? Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. That's not bad. At least it's some effort, Paul. Yeah. At least it it's some effort. effort Why do we even invite him, man? Just right. like my friends, the treasure hunters. All right, here's our tailgate wrap up. We weren't here. It's getting hot. We're gonna get something to eat. Uh, Charlie, who kind of took a nap after like an yeah, hour, so he yeah. didn't find a whole lot. Yes, yeah, he uh, got a piece of a crotal bell. He got this little bent up piece of metal. That could have been like an old copper ring. We're not sure. That's fancy. Yeah, it has a star and the you know the signs. Uh, modern change. He did get one musket ball. Kyle put out everything he's ever found in his whole life. Kyle, I'm not sure. All this modern change, like just junk he's putting out. He did find a couple of cool bullets. Uh, he found this cool piece that's got like fancy on it. Uh, this old toy and then this little Hot Wheel car. We all kind of found a Hot Wheel car. Uh, Paul stuff, a bunch of buckles, the Model T. Uh, at least I think it's a Model T strap. The funny car, which is kind of cool. Hot Wheels, probably from the 80s. Funny. Another piece of a crotal bell buckle. Uh, Paul got like five wheat pennies. I don't think anyone else had got one wheat penny. I did. Oh, you did? Oh, that's right. Doug got, oh, I didn't get to use yet. You just ruined it. <laughs> Paul got one of the bullets like Kyle got. Um, there's Paul. This is my stuff. Not a whole lot. I did get the big piece of the mantle clock. Uh, I got the 57 T-Bird Hot Wheel. Uh, the dog tag. I got one of the bullets like Kyle's. Hot Wheels pieces, that piece, the big piece of the car. That was it for me. And then Doug got this car. It's got a pizza guy on it. Doug got the two-piece button. I didn't see Doug for a while. He was way out in the field. Two-piece uh, service button. Doug got an Indian, which we think might be 1900, 1900 even. Uh, one flat button, uh, one wheat penny, little musket ball. And a nice uh, chunk of lead, chunk of lead. So uh, that was the finds. Uh, we're going to get out here and get something to eat. Excellent job, everybody. Sandy, thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate you having me. Kyle, thank you very much. Sure, nice meeting you. And uh, we're out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Doug's daughter. Doug's daughter opened a restaurant called Sweet Aloha. So if you're ever in the Royersford area, Royersford oh. area, stop in. Stop in. If you mention Doug's name, you get you a 1% discount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might get thrown out. Oh, okay. All right. Very good.